Question 16. We have a solid pyramid with a square base of side 20 centimeters. The angle between any sloping edge and the plane is 55 degrees. Calculate the surface area of the pyramid. First, we know the base is a square of side 20 centimeters. That's 20 times 20, which is 400 centimeters squared. Now, in order to calculate the area of one of these spaces, we need the height. To do that, we're going to need to know the vertical height, and then we can calculate it from there. Let's call the center x, and we can work out this vertical height using trigonometry. The first thing we need to know, though, is the distance from a to x. It's half the distance from a to c. Let's draw out that triangle. There's a, there's c, and there's b. This is a triangle on the base of the pyramid. So 20 by 20. We need to work out this length a to c, so we can use Pythagoras. a c squared, 20 squared is 20 squared. So a c squared is 800. Now we take the square root of 800. So a c is 20 root 2. We know that a to x is half of that. So a to x is 10 root 2. Let's draw out this triangle a x b. a to x to v. We were given that this angle is 55 degrees. We have the right angle here, and that's 10 root 2. We need to know the vertical height, vx, so we're going to have to use trigonometry for this. The first thing we need to do is label the sides. This is opposite, and that's adjacent. So the, tan rate, the ratio we're going to use is tan. Tan x equals opposite over adjacent. Now let's substitute in, we have tan of 55 is opposite over the adjacent, which is 10 root 2. So the opposite side, vx, 10 root 2, and 55. I'm going to leave that like that for now, so that we can have the most accurate calculations later on. Next, we have this vertical height here, so we can finally figure out this sloped height. Let's call the midpoint of this M and draw the triangle MXB. We know that the length from M to X is half of the side length, that's 10, and BX is 10 root 2 and 55. We want this side length, VM, we can again use Pythagoras. So this was 20.2. 20.2 squared plus 10 squared, which is 507.9. And we take the square root to find Vm, which is 22.5, approximately. The next thing we need to do is find the area of one of these spaces. We have the vertical height. So the area of a triangle is half base times height. So it's a half, 22.5 times 20 which is 225.37. We've got four of these. So 225.37 multiplied by the four bases. Add on the base, which is 400. Gives us approximately 1,300 centimeters squared for two significant 